Let's now shift focus to another important story that's coming in from France. Far-right leader Marie Le Pen has appeared in court today to testify. The senior national rally leader is facing a trial on charges of embezzling funds from the European Union. Earlier in the day, Le Pen arrived in court to take the stand. On arrival, she made no comments to the media. The far-right leader and 24 others are accused of creating fake jobs to divert funds earmarked for the European Union. Concerns around the alleged fake job system were first raised back in 2015. The fund diversion in question spans over 12 years covering parliamentary assistant contracts between 2004 and 2016. Prosecutors allege that a bodyguard, a secretary, Le Pen's chief of staff and a graphic designer were all hired under false pretenses. The trial began on September 30th and Le Pen had earlier said that she and her party have not broken any rules. If convicted of charges, the 56-year-old leader can be fined over a million dollars and worse, be banned from public office for 10 long years. Now, correspondent Ross Cullen is joining us live from Paris to get us the latest. Ross, good to see you. What do you have for us? Well, Marine Le Pen taking the stand today for the first of three days of questioning by judges in the a case that brings her and uh, more than 20 other National Rally advisers, politicians, uh, assistants uh, into uh, the dock for questioning related to the suspected embezzlement of EU funds. Now, she and everybody else on trial denies uh, wrongdoing, but there is the possibility, if she were to be found guilty, that she could be a sentence to up to 10 years in jail, fined more than $1 million, and she could potentially be made ineligible to run in the 2027 uh, presidential election. She has previously said she has nothing to hide. She is only going to tell the truth that this is an unfair uh, process, but it does uh, shine a light that these uh, cases of alleged corruption can even uh, touch those at the top uh, of the uh, party system here in France. All right, Ross, thank you so much for all those updates from Paris. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.